so many different uh, things about if you talking about Indonesian, uh, Western Indonesian and Eastern Indonesian. The, it's about the uh, art scene of Indonesian. Uh, the, the Western is very established about the art scenes of in, art scenes. Then they have a large networking. Uh, they have the center, center uh, uh, our capital in Jakarta, center of government and center of the media. All the uh, the biggest media uh, station in, in uh, Jakarta. So that's why the art scenes of the Western part of Indonesia is growing well. Then uh, you can uh, see many, many exhibitions. They have uh, also art school and universities. Then uh, that's why we uh, Organized the Makassar Biennale, so because we very very different about uh, between uh, eastern part and uh, western part. We did it mostly in offline in, in the last year. So after uh, COVID strikes uh, the world, so uh, here the offline. What happened in uh, Offline, it's uh, two or three exhibition. Uh, it's just like a close friend exhibition, not really like uh, to invite the media or uh, doing discussions or something. It's just like close friend because uh, restricted and restricted uh, to to going at home. So. In Bali and Polewali Mandar, the re recently they held uh, small scale exhibitions. Then Yogyakarta <coughs> in Art Jog, medium and big scale exhibition with strict, strict uh, protocol. So um, our friends or our networks in, uh, in Indonesia, especially in Java, say that and think about oh it's very very possible to to do exhibition during COVID after a job the big scale or medium scale uh, uh, open open maybe in uh, around June June or May I guess uh, Indonesian art scene during COVID it's uh, doing online uh, uh, we just uh, take apart the online exhibition um, collaboration three biennales in Indonesia, Jakarta Biennale, Jogja Biennale, and collaboration with uh, Sam Funds uh, during May uh, till August. Then at Jakarta, uh, they just open it. October until December, I guess, or maybe uh, January 2021. For Indonesian, or in, uh, if we're talking about orientation of cultural policy, it's not really a big deal or big matter for Makassarians. We always think about that we very far from the center. So uh, we just get the very, very slightly about the news or the maybe like uh, um, updating from Jakarta or Jawa. So, but all I can say is just like I mentioned, like endo endowment, endowment funds from uh, Indonesian government. Uh, it, it was established 2000. 20 and then the artists or uh, communities could be send their proposal then they maybe 
uh, Indonesian government approved it in 2021. Then, <coughs> uh, some still like uh, old way or old fashion is like often call for art culture practitioner professor the, during pandemic. But uh, uh, unfortunately, I can give you the uh, the links, but uh, I have heard Hilmar Farid, our uh, general director of Culture Republic Indonesia. Uh, they he said that like, uh, oh my God, it mostly it mostly festival form. So he was thinking like, it's not unsustainable. So we, the, the artists or practitioners could be or has to think about uh, how to find the other form since uh, that more sustainable. But the practitioners uh, during pandemic, they back to home, uh, doing farming, finishing commissions, then spend time at studio for uh, their art. Indonesia 2019, uh, it's the world, the first rank for the civic and social participation. This is, it's, I can, I can say it, it, it capital for us. Uh, so that's why I quite sure like uh, maybe we can try method of on offline not on offline offline uh, but on offline we can say i can say that uh, you you can try to doing something offline but the other the other time you can you can uh, continue your your discussion by phone or by whatsapp by facebook messenger so kind of uh yeah this that's just my prediction but i always think about this one thing community community is our immunity so you can you can run on work alone just like uh just like a night, a night or something, kind of. So that's why, uh, why, why what I said before that, uh, because I believe that, uh, since I believe that uh, on offline, it could be, uh, apa kalau manjur? Apa kalau cocok? Fit, fit to fit to us in, in Eastern Indonesia without without like a, a growing well, not not really growing well in art scene. So that's why this is our way in Makassar Biennale to do and to growing up our scenes. It's like uh, to engaging with the uh, six cities. Uh, then we always think about that Makassar Biennale it's also like uh, informal school for you for the youth so we we just like doing doing investment for our art scene so that's why research and writing also for the youth community is very very important for us the, then this time we, uh, uh, our research and writing workshop, it's uh, talking about vernacular healing treatment as a COVID response. This is the cities, Makassar, zero kilometers, Pankab, 50, 50 kilometers, Parepare, Pare, 150, Bulukumba, 170 kilometers, Labuan Bajo, you have to uh, going there by ship, 
or by plane, but it's very very expensive. The it's about four hundred thirty kilometers. Then Nabire, Nabire, its name very short, but the 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 distance very long. <laughs> 3000 kilometers you can going there maybe it's five days by ship <laughs> five days <laughs> now this is the our methods on offline uh, our distance so uh, yeah very very long long way uh, each other uh, especially like Labuan Bajo and Nabire, but uh, we we are close friends. We are it's just like one community. So I repeat that community is our immunity. So you can uh, because uh, we 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 organize because while the first month of pandemic strikes the world, citizen react the ancestral heritage about traditional uh, healing and treatment. This is the credos of Makassar Biennale since 2019. Art is a way out. So that's why we're trying to to spreading the vernacularly healing pra practices of Eastern Indonesia region to for all people in the world. You can you can try our our methods, our ancestor methods, because uh, uh, like uh, Ichang, hello, Ichang, mendengar? Ichang, wait a minute. Oh, Ichang is muted. Please, Alba, you can. <clears throat> yeah, hello. Yeah, Ichang, maybe you can um, describing or uh, tell the audience about how Makassar Benar is going, going recent time. So, yeah, uh, currently, um, is. Yeah, let me do. So currently we are in the middle of a research and uh, training workshop, research and uh, writing workshop. As uh, Kajim has already explained, we are currently uh, active in six cities. And the main topic, as uh, Kajim has already explained, is that we're trying to explore the, the traditional medicines that currently exist in, uh, in, in the six cities that uh, we are currently focusing on. And, uh, uh, currently, we see it as a way to decentralize the, the notion of healing itself, especially where in the world that we see the Western medicines as the major um, focus of healing practices. Uh, in Makassar Biennale, uh, specifically in this uh, workshop, the name is Manyigi, Menghambur Manyigi Skapur Siri. We're trying to explore the various methods, the ancient and traditional methods that the people in the six cities try to heal themselves. Because um, as we know, Indonesia is quite large. Access to medicine, access to specifically Western medicine is still very much limited. And uh, that is what we're trying to focus on here. Um, Nongkrong is a yeah, gathering, hang out, hang out. It's uh, hang out even uh, until late night or until morning, until dawn. So, uh, like we, the our talking, our <clears throat> our discussion is uh, talking about like uh, everyday life, not only our sin, but from everyday life or the the ideas uh, that uh, everybody shared. It's a uh, oh, it's able to it's opportun it's a. Uh, uh, possible to to do it's uh we can we we able to 
uh, to preparing something like uh, you talking about uh, doing the conversation. So uh, nongkrong is very important for yeah. Nongkrong is like a small face-to-face -face gathering uh, with cigarettes, with coffee, with tea or biscuits, some uh, meals. <laughs> it's like uh, if uh, our elder, our elder always say that it's very useless activities. <laughs> but they they always say that oh my god, it's very useless, <laughs> but. Uh, for our side, it's very, very uh, important because uh, we updating all the uh, uh, updating about uh, somebody, updating uh, something. So then, return to Makassar Biennale. Makassar Biennale, the most important elements. Uh, 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 that able us to doing to doing uh, Makassar Biennale until now is uh, offline and, and online. Uh, it's like offline, uh, not by not by uh, art scene network, not not at all, but library movement network, not by art scene network. So. We able to catch and gathering and engaging with uh, five cities, five cities in Eastern Indonesia. It's uh, moved by library movement, literacy networks. So, uh, if we're talking about literacy, it's very very uh, wide wide landscape. To talk about it's not about uh, only like uh, reading or discussion but we try to make sure our friends that uh, art it's uh, another another safe another form uh, another form of literacy it's the other way the Art is a safe form, not not like a only. Uh, we we talking if you talking about literacy is not only just like a book or library or a writer or something kind of, kind of, but it's about shape form. Uh, so. After we talking offline, after nongkrong with our friends, hang out with our friends, we continue the discussion in online. And then after the online, the online we use the online only for to make appointment. That how what time we can make it, or what time we can we can meet each other again. Not not not. Not the execution or finish it by online, not, not, not at all. In Indonesia, non-crong is the most important element for everything. 